Okay, so first things first. Dude, you're absolutely killing it. I've not seen somebody get all these cues so quickly in a very, very long time. So I'm just incredibly proud of you. are just killing it. You're getting your feet game down. You're getting the, uh, the hips between the, uh, butt between the heels cue down. Amazing, you're killing it. So for this next one, what I end up seeing you do, and this is what we all do at first. Um, I can even show you old videos of myself. What ends up happening is uh, we either hit back too much uh, to initiate or um, what you're doing is you're like a kind of a high bar person where you want to be like this a lot but what ends up happening is your chest falls um, to initiate that's kind of how you're starting it you just boop and so one way to fix that is going to be you're gonna well let's just say that this is the bar you're gonna have the bar here and when we're um, thinking about keeping the bar tight or our back tight it's not so much um, I guess being held in the hands, right? It's not being supported by the hands. Ideally, your back should be so tight that you can just technically let go. Not that we would ever do that. And so, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna use the cue, protect the armpits. And what that means is, think of your armpit, and you're going to try to use your arms and your shoulders to protect it. So basically, it's gonna look like, boom. It's very small. You're almost pulling the bar, trying to bend it across your back. Now, the important part with this is when you're protecting your armpits, protecting your armpits, your chest rises or kind of goes forward. We call that proud chest or high chest, but I tend to just call it proud chest out of, uh, out of habit. And so while these are technically two different cues, the protect the armpits and high chest, they generally manifest in the same way. So it's gonna be whatever cue um, works best for you in your head and manifests in your body, it doesn't really matter. Um, we'll basically figure that one out as we go. So what you're gonna do is get your feet game, and then you're gonna, boom, keep the uh, proud chest, protect those armpits, and then you're gonna go from there. What this is gonna do is by thoracically extending you, keeping your upper back tight, there's no way for you to really just kind of fall forward. Um, and one way you'll see this in a lot of people, sometimes myself included when I'm not paying attention, is when they go down, the bar right here will actually end up going past midfoot. And you'll see that it's like out here and they're trying to like get it back into that neutral zone. Um, everyone's gonna shift in and out of that neutral zone throughout the squat, minor deviations, doesn't matter. Um, but you'll feel a lot more pressure on the front of your foot when you do kind of fall forward. And then what ends up happening is like, uh, like you noticed today when you sent your videos, uh, your knees get kind of wonky and you end up kind of slowing down, trying to find more stability. And all that's coming from is just keeping this tight, armpits, proud chest. That's all it is. Now I do want to go through one more cue. Um, just because you do the thing that I used to do, um, and I see a lot of like uh, a lot stronger women because of their hip architecture, I also have wider hips, is uh, you end up trying to lock out like this. Um, well, that's very much a deadlift cue, not necessarily a squat cue. So one thing I'd like you to consider, and you don't have to do this now, but definitely play with it, is when you're on rack, you walk out, you're all set up, kind of get where you need to be, get your brace down, and you get your chest and all that, just cock it back a little bit so that the weight is, starts over midfoot and you're not here, you're just here. So you're gonna start and finish here. So you're gonna start with the same back angle that you end with, and you're gonna end with the same back angle that you start with. Give or take, obviously there's gonna be deviation, but what we're not looking for is um, if we try to start too upright, no one can really squat and stay this upright. Like this is about as far as I can go without ha without uh, staying upright. So if I hit the hole from here, right, I'd like to start roughly there as well. Um, because you're like me and you do high bar primarily, um, you're going to be a little more upright, but don't try to be too upright. It is very much a uh, give and take. So, you're not starting here, although you might see some people like that. Um, but you're also not starting up here. 
And this way, when you get your hips through, and you have your back here, you go down, you do your thing, coming up, boom, I'm locked out. My glutes are fully contracted, my hips are good. I'm still tight on the bar, so I'm still extended. Uh, it's best, best of both worlds. So, to recap real quickly, because this is already getting longer than I was trying to make it, um, the cues. I keep putting this down for some reason. It's gonna be, protect the armpits, slash, proud chest, do anything. And then, um, on top of that, to play around with, just start cock back a little bit, just a little bit. Don't, um, don't go too crazy, don't start over here. Just brace, kind of find it, and then put your butt between your heels. That's all it is. Let me know if you've got any questions, and good luck.